Well, some say it can be as addictive as drugs or alcohol. Smartphone games like Candy Crush and Farm Heroes have become more than just fun for some. As our Sean McDonald shows us, some people say they can't put the game down. To play video games like Candy Crush nowadays, all you need is a mobile phone. The really important thing is that it's accessibility. You can pick it up, you can play it, you can put it down. But for some, putting it down is too hard. Like, I try to go a day without playing it, and I, I can't. These sweet cyber treats have become an addiction. If they made something Candy Crush Anonymous, I'd be the first one to sign up. But I guess if I had to choose being addicted to drugs and alcohol over Candy Crush, I'd choose Candy Crush. Aaron Sullivan is a home health care aide. Danielle Valpe works in IT. Both admit they spend too much time playing the game. Uh, how much time will you spend in a day playing this game? Hmm. I would say probably anywhere from 12 to 13 hours. Uh, about 30, 35, 40 hours a week. Both say it's the urge to compete and get to the next level that drives them to their phone or iPad. And like any addiction, it takes its toll. Danielle says schoolwork gets neglected. There are some times where I just have to hand my device to somebody else in the house and say, can you take this? It's, um, it's too close to me. Erin admits she uses multiple devices to gain more game lives while paying less attention to her daughter and husband. You can't get her to spend time with the family, can't get her to have to do half the tasks and that's supposed to take care of in the house. She even played while we interviewed husband John. She's hardly alone. There's even a Candy Crush addiction page on Facebook. These are things that we do as developers. We make sure. Like, SNHU instructor and game designer Ed Brillen says game makers have tapped into a whole market of casual gamers that are more often women. They make games just challenging enough to keep you playing. You get lost in time. You don't realize that you're playing it as long as you are, and that's that's kind of what they're trying to do. Games like Candy Crush are free, but once you start playing, you can pay money to advance. A dollar here and there can add up. You've been playing for about six months. Do you know how much money you've spent on the game? Um, in the six months, probably about $200. King, which owns Candy Crush, says they have an estimated 96 million daily active users. While the company won't disclose what they take in, some estimates show they make more than $940,000 a day from Candy Crush. And if players start to lose interest, developers may sweeten the game. Maybe you give them a couple of free levels. Like, you can, you can go through this level for free. Here's a couple free, and it keeps them going. When we asked, King said they haven't seen Candy Crush addiction issues, saying the game is designed to take natural breaks and meant for short amounts of fun. But both Danielle and Aaron admit stopping doesn't seem possible because the urge is too strong. If I haven't played it all day, I'll freak out and stay up till midnight playing it. It's like I just can't quit completely, no matter how much I try. One tip, try logging how much time you spend playing each day. And one therapist we spoke with recommends try to stop playing for a few weeks, see what you've been missing. He also says over-gaming can be a way of avoiding other problems in your life. I'm Sean McDonald, WMUR News 9.